good with you. It is your boy Travis Kinley coming back to you with another one. I am currently sitting in a parking lot, hanging out, and uh, actually have the truck running right now. Number one, it's kind of hot. Number two, one of the guys I'm with is like, hey man, you might want to check your filter. And I was like, I did not think about that. So, old Johnson Logic sleep. He's sleeping in there. Anyways, I figure we would knock out a truck tour. Ugh. I figure we can knock out a truck tour real quick. Um, I am not taking the, I got one of those uh, window shade things. Not taking that down right now. It is absolutely too warm. Um, nevertheless, I figure we knock out a truck tour. It'd be funny if uh, Ross came to his window. There you go. There's your, uh, there's your plug, Ross. So let's knock out a truck tour. 2015 T680, um, dirty as all get out. Cummins, 13 speed manual. Of course, they don't make a 13 automatic. So 13 speed and uh, I mean, it's not bad here. We'll start outside and then we'll come back inside. I think I was just so ready to get back in the AC. It's hot, man. And I, we've been out here for like quite a while. So that's the truck right there airplane going overhead. I mean, it just looks like a T680. There's nothing too special about it. Except it's dirty. That's special. I, um, I mean, I'll show you back here. Really? I don't know. There's nothing to it. I don't know. There's really nothing to it, when you ask me. I guess there's more to the inside than the outside. Anyways, like I said, this is a 2050. Yeah, the Samsung. You can turn the camera around while you are uh, recording. It's 2015, just like I said. Typical, uh, typical older truck. Got to check engine lights on it, but it's running, so we run it. Uh, 623,000 miles. Um, like I said, uh, here, let me stand up. Like I said, 13 speed. There we go. Now you got a good view, right? Uh, of course, got the old CB radio going to look up calibration instructions on that because we put two new CB antennas on. Um, got keep trucking in here. Um, so that's been cool. First experience with keep trucking. Let's see what else I see. Um, beyond Behind the actual window shade is nothing too special. Um, no, it's not governed. Radio is your typical fleet radio. Um, Jake's are right here instead of on the, you know, turn stock. I know with the newer trucks, it's, uh, the right turn stock. This activates on off Jake's. Jake's, this activates the stages of the Jake's, uh, cruise control on offset, resume fan, you know, regen, of course, manual. Uh, you got your lights right here. Headlights, parking marker and sleeper hazard as well. Of course you see that catwalk light is on this, on this side right here. And then you have more lights right here, as well as the exterior light test and dash uh, dimming lights. Show the dash looks like it's one of those ones. It's got the uh, air air pressure gauge, primary and secondary on one with just two uh, two needles on it. So that's uh, cool or whatever. I mean, I guess it just is what it is, if you ask me. It's got this same knob for those for those of you who are used to that knob right there. It's got that same knob, so that was familiar. Um, Sirius XM radio. That's okay if, you, if you're if you into that. I'm not really into that. I'm into my own music and that's all that I want. Um, let's see what else we're looking at. Uh, a few more switches as far as the activating, uh, you know, four wheel drive and um, dropping your airbag, sliding your fifth wheel. Um, other than that, I mean, hey, cup holders on deck, right? That's wonderful. Um, guy installed these right here. That's wonderful. Did not come with the water coke or the sweet tea. Uh, we got the fire extinguisher in the way, but that's okay. It's kind of in the way. It's not really in the way. So I'm used to driving with that that red box right there. I call my drive box if you're newer to my channel. I'm used to driving with that right where the fire extinguisher is. And then I put my snack. I snack on these little snack on these right here. Sometimes I buy peanuts. Sometimes I buy these little peanut butter pretzel nuggets here. So I usually have all of that right there. And, and then a lot of times I'll take one of my cowboy boots right here and put a water bottle in it. 
so that and then that's my like row of what I need while I'm driving so fire extinguisher in my way but it is what it is other than that let's pick our head up a little bit got two compartments one over driver one over passenger right now I just keep my wallet up there in case you want to rob me or whatever you know where it is and then we got wiring for the camera system we have a camera system you see a little thing under the mirror you got one on each mirror and then there is one in the center of the windshield as well so that's why the wires run right there of course you could fit other stuff it's not like just the wires fit in there up here I anyways let's move on so um, got two compartments right here decent sized compartments you know just so you can see what it looks like all right um so that's really all that's up front you know keep my lawn chair right there might go hang out with the guys there's a few guys outside um chilling in their lawn chairs might go hang out with them in a second uh got the inverter right here um all right so that's that let's cut the light on and turn around cutting the light on and turning around Got a spot for a microwave, but my galons don't fit, so got to get a new microwave eventually. Um, got a little thing right here. Uh, I call it my little supply area or whatever. It goes just as deep as, you know, you see. You see? It goes that deep. Anyways, I don't feel like pulling stuff out just so you can see what the space looks like. Speakers are nice. Good quality on those. Don't know the brand. Double bunk, as you see. Trying to show you that there. Okay. Um, we have, oh my goodness, what's going on with the clarity here? There we go. Okay, so we have Dish TV, uh, you know, supplied by Wally's right here. Uh, let me review on Dish TV. If you're into TV, maybe this would be your thing. Um, maybe I'm just not into TV very much, but I don't really like it. Number one, almost all of the shows on there are super old. They're running Law and Order's steady season three, season six, season seven, eight. Like, we're on season 20-something of Law and Order. Why are you playing season three, right? They were running... I watched a UFC fight from December of last year the other day. Um, Jeepers Creepers and Jeepers Creepers 2 came on. Jigsaw came on. Um, uh, the movie Alien from 1986 came on. You see what I'm saying? A lot of older stuff and then like if you're if you turn your inverter off and you move the truck too far when you, you turn this back on it's got to find a signal and a lot of stuff like that you know or the other day I turned it on and it was like because of weather issues we're not able to provide you service or whatever and it was sunny outside so I was like what so I personally don't think it's worth it um, it's not something I would spend my money on. I use it right now, but I don't, it's not a lot, nine times out of ten, there's background noise for me. Uh, I'm still on my phone, but, you know, I just realized my dog on things on. But, you know, it's on just for the, for the sake of background noise. Um, I personally don't recommend it. Dude, it's 2022. Buy a smart TV and sign in to all of your apps. Netflix, Peacock, all, Apple TV, bring your Apple TV. There are so many other quality ways to look at good shows and movies than Dish TV. Just my personal opinion, probably best if you leave it in the Ford. Got some compartments down here. It is where, got some compartments down here. It's where I keep food and everything. Got two peanut butters because one's running out. Um, there you go down there. Got some chips, uh, whatever, you know, and just, you know, the dry food. All right. So that's uh that's that no drawer down here um and that covers pretty much here's uh here's the way this light works you got that and then you touch it's the you see that rim sorry you see that rim around it that's what you touch touch it one more time it dims touch again it goes off all right um and that's the only light i will say while we're talking about lighting the sleeper berth is lit up pretty well those three lights are legit all right anyways Let's go top to bottom so we can do some sort of order. Oops, dropped my phone. All right, so I, I don't know. Maybe I don't carry a lot of clothes or something because it looks pretty bare, right? Nor am I hanging my clothes up. Or I bet if I cleaned all those, maybe it would look a little bit more something or another. But that's all I got going on. And even if I clean this bag of clothes, that's really not going to fill that up very much. After you fold it and so. Also in here... I wish there was a light but oh no y'all can see you see that so i keep electronics in there you know the gopro the microphone and and my belt but the gopro the microphone and everything else um 
and uh, I got these, you know, trash bags right there right now, which I need to put one out. Oh, watch out, Willis. Did not notice the mirror right there. Need to clean that. And then you got another little pocket right here you can put stuff in. Oh, and something you can hang. I, I didn't, I, this is actually my first time noticing these two. I guess I just hadn't been paying very much attention or whatever. So, uh, that's what we have going on right there. Let's put stuff back, close that, go down. We have the refrigerator. Not sure if a lot of T680s come with this refrigerator, but this is the style that actually slides out. Has a freezer up top. Can you see that? Oh, here. Got the freezer up top. And then, I mean, there's actually, it doesn't look like that much space, but you have to understand you don't have to keep your food in the confines of this. When you slide it in, you, you see that clearance room right there? So it's not like it has to all fit there. So I just kind of stack it up or whatever, right? And then, and then, okay. Then we got this drawer right here. I just kind of keep, I don't know, I don't know, just stuff. I haven't entirely moved into this truck yet. Nevertheless, that's a pretty deep drawer and deep and long. You see that? So that's a good amount of space. I haven't entirely, haven't entirely moved into this truck yet. So that's why, I don't know. I'm just kind of making it. All right, got a light right here. You just push this button right there to turn that on off, not like the other one. Here are your sleeper berth air controls as well, as well as your APU, you know, heater, the alarm clock thing. I bet nobody uses that. Who uses their alarm clock? Anyways, um, he's actually installed some really chill lights. Like this right here lights up like, um, what do they call it? Convenience lights or something like that? What do they call that? Anyway, it's kind of like just a very soft red light that happens around the floor. And then there's another one up front for that. I forgot to show you um no huge window on the side like a fleet truck would do you know that is what it is same on this side no huge window do have these these are uh these are cool curtains maybe they're cool they don't make them like this anymore and then i ask myself oh i say they're cool i ask myself well why aren't they still making them like this anymore then so you got this and if you unhook this then this just kind of slides open like here see so, and then the typical, you know, roll window thing right there. So, uh, yeah, well, why don't they make them anymore? If they're so cool, why don't they make them like that? So, I don't know. His is still intact, so whatever. Anyways, uh, that's really about... Oh, I just found more storage space. Watch out. Hey, like I said, I haven't moved in here very well yet. Is that storage space? That is storage space. It's carpeted and everything. So I will definitely be moving other stuff up there. Oh, okay, so that's for the top bunk person as well as the light right there for the top bunk person. Cool, man. Cool, dude. All right, so I will definitely be uh, adding some stuff there. That's what it looks like. I'm standing on the bunk right now. Hey, shout out to Rob, uh, my buddy Rob, buddy and subscriber, motorcycle friend, just friend, whatever. Uh, shout out to Rob last time. He came to my house for my daughter's birthday or whatever, but when he got in the truck, it was like totally bare. I hadn't moved anything in here yet. Bed wouldn't, didn't have no sheets on or nothing like that. So shout out Rob, this is what it looks like now. All right, just wanted to give you all that tour, man, and just kind of review that Dish TV. I really just do not think it's worth it yet. But uh, yeah, just wanted to do that. I'm probably about to go outside with the guys and chill in the uh, lawn chairs for a little while. They said they wanted, there's a Mexican restaurant across the street. They said they wanted to do that at 12, so. Yeah, we probably about to go out there. I personally don't know if I feel like eating that Mexican because we got to work tonight, so I'm like, bro, my stomach start rumbling or something like that. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, just chilling, getting it done. After this, taking a load to uh, Vegas, and then, I don't know, get back on the load board, and we're going to see what happens from there. Look, you already know the motto is work hard, play hard, sleep hard, find you somebody to love. I love y'all. Don't forget. It's not about what you believe, it's all about why you believe it. Live free.